Hey folks, this is another episode of Composing with uh, Buck and Cage, and today I'm going to use FM synthesis to harmonize and add some texture to Bach and accompanied cello pieces, in particular the Saraband in E flat major. Let's look at what FM synthesis is briefly and how we can use cage FM object to harmonize a melody. To put it simply, uh, frequency modulation is a way of creating a complex spectra uh, with a carrier frequency and a modulating uh, frequency. Um, the, we have two oscillators. The carrier frequency is the frequency around which um, the modulating oscillator will create its oscillations. And in this case, it will be a harmonic spectrum because this is following the arithmetic series, the harmonic series. So let's hear that. And if I have a, um, the amplitude at zero, the amplitude of the modulating oscillator at zero, then I will only have the pure uh, sine wave at 200 Hertz. But as soon as I start increasing the modulating amplitude, I will add the frequency band that will expand. Like if I uh, maybe bring this up a bit. And the number of frequency bands and the intensity of the frequency bands will be determined by the modulator amplitude. But we're not going to use um, free FM synthesis as a real-time um, synthesis technique. Instead, we're going to use this idea of creating a complex spectra starting from a base frequency offline. So using an object that is called Cage FM. In this little patch, I have created a way of testing whether Cage FM is reproducing the FM synthesis correctly. My uh, oscillator will feed this pitch detection object that um, doesn't come with Max, but you can download it. If I turn the audio on, now the fiddle is doing a real-time pitch detection, F, uh, a C, and an A above. And you can see how uh, the cage is also getting the same result. Now, if the spectra are inharmonic, then the pitch detection and the cage might differ somewhat. But um, in general, you get um, a fairly accurate analysis of what the FM result will be. So how are we gonna use this FM idea on a score? Uh, if we have a score with, uh, say, just three notes for now, and, um, and do an iteration, Let's look at the help file for the gauge FM. What I want to do is actually use this method here, where I am um, doing FM on a, a list rather than a whole row. The list has to be formed as MIDI sense and velocity. Here I have MIDI sense, and here I have uh, durations, and here I have velocities. I can lace this too. Each iteration I will have a midi cent and velocity paired. I want this to be wrapped into a single set of parentheses. Then I actually have to flat this. So what I have to do is match the result of my iteration to the format that KGFM wants. The KGFM 
wants either a whole row or it requires for a list of MIDI set and velocity wrapped in a parenthesis. I can have the <clears throat> modulating frequency be the same frequency of the carrier frequency. And let's try that as a simple example. And you can see how already the, the amount of um, pitch information that I have is much richer <clears throat> because of the FM synthesis. By the way, there is a little uh, bug in uh, the FM object, which I have uh, notified the developers of, and they will fix it in the next uh, release of the Bach uh, library. And it's the bug is that it outputs whatever result uh, twice. I made a little uh, fix for that. And uh, now if I dump this again, I only have three. Uh, so again, this will be fixed in the next um, release of the of the of the back library. But for now, you kind of have to use this little patch that I made uh, to fix this bug. And this will be available with the main patch. Whenever the next release will come out, you will need to get rid of this little sub patch. What I need to do is to collect these. I will have a, one list of pitches and velocities. I don't know how many pitches are going to come out of my FM synthesis. So I need to match the number of uh, pitch to the number of onsets. I can save this, whatever the result is, do a back length, repeat the onset value, number of times equal to the number of pitches that I have saved. The duration will come out uh, before the, I have my, the result of my FM algorithm. So I don't know yet how many durations value I need. So in this case, I need to kind of invert the order of execution and I need to save the duration value. And whenever I get my, the result of my FM, I can do a trigger bank list this time. So I can first see how many duration values I need. And then I can bang my duration value. There's still a problem. And it is that uh, what's coming out of here is MIDI sense and velocity. Well, I need these two lists to be separated. So what can I do? Um, what I can do is to just transpose this matrix this list, which means what transpose does is the uh, matrix transposition where uh, my columns will become my rows and my rows will become my columns. So if I use the back tree again, so if I output my collect, th then I have many lists of two items. And if I transpose my uh, my matrix, my list of lists, same thing. I will have two lists and this two lists will be, as you can see here, the first list will be just all of the MIDI sense and the second list, all of the velocities. And that's what I need. One way of uh, displacing the onset of the FM result is to uh, measure the distance between the uh, original frequency and uh, FM pitch by uh, subtracting the original frequency from the FM pitch and uh, and then collecting it into the back back map map element and that will give me some kind of answer let's encapsulate this into a um, sub patcher this is the distance from uh, my FM pitch to my carry pitch and what I want to do is use a periodic function that will uh, make sure that my output of my distance will always be bounded between two values that are known. So let's use something like a cosine function. This will always be bounded between minus one and one. And that could be a good way of creating a displacement for my onset. I'm going to create a bug 
expert and I'm gonna have my the cosine of my first input and then I'm gonna multiply this by some other amount because I wanna be able to control the amount of displacement that I want for uh, the different, for the onsets. And again, I'm gonna add it to my original onset because I want that to be preserved. Let me create another uh, in inlet for the amount of displacement that I want that I can tweak. And then my original onset will be coming in from the first inlet so now the when the onset comes in it will trigger it will first save the onset value into the back expert object and then here i have my the result of my fm and this could be a list that can have many items and then we'll trigger that which will go into um, a loop here and each value will be picked uh, the frequency value will be picked the distance from the original uh, pitch will be calculated the cosine will give me a bounded value that will be multiplied by a given parameter of onset displacement and finally I will add that to my original onset so now I can have a um, onset displacement and in this case is in milliseconds uh, so let's give it something noticeable and now I can have my sub patch be fed into my collect object and then build the score and now I have my pitches that are displaced based on their dis the distance that they have from the original Pitch. So in the patch that I am um, sharing uh, with my patrons, there are more features. I have some parameters, so you can choose different uh, modulating frequencies, the modulation index. I added a little randomness and then the onset deviation that I just talked about. So this is another iteration of using an electronic music technique applied on uh, an actual score, uh, thanks to the tools uh, of that uh, Bach and Cage uh, offer us. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, until the next time, take care.